Hi guys, so today we are talking Teal Tuesday. If you're not familiar with that, it's something Diamond Press does. They started it last year, so this is, I believe, the second <laughs> annual Teal Tuesday. Um, I'm going to show you some items they were sent free of charge from my review from Diamond Press. Um, and of course, all opinions are my own. And I normally say any links I have in the description box are affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. And that's the case for other items for today. If you want to participate in Teal Tuesday, you do not want to use my code, okay? My code VCDP will give you 10% off the site. But on Teal Tuesday, which is the 22nd, I believe, let me make sure. I have my computer here because there's so much I want to... <laughs> People have asked me already. They're like, oh, I saw an email. What more do you know about it? Um, it's June 22nd. It starts at midnight for June 22nd, you know, going into the 22nd. Um, you get 50% off um, your order of $50 or more. So it needs to be $50 or more in your cart. And then you can use Teal50, T-E-A-L-5-0, to get 50% off your order. Okay, so do not use VCDPB. I think last time around a few of you guys did and I'm like oh no maybe there's some way you can I don't know uh, so yeah don't use my code use the teal 50 and then if you um, on any order $75 or more um, you get a free gift and $100 or more you get an additional free gift and I'm assuming that's after the 50% off okay so if you want to do the $75 order thinking you need to put 150 in the cart um, and go from there right uh, I'll verify that, but uh, I think that's how that one works. And then with Teal Tuesday, they just have, you know, they'll have giveaways. Um, there's going to be possibly some people who are going to get a, um, a Teal ticket, which is worth $50, so you can use it later. Um, it looks like a, a golden ticket, but it's Teal. And then a portion of the sales, of course, from Teal Tuesday will go to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, so it's really great. Um, yeah, it says with an order of $75 or more, you receive a grab bag of assorted card making products. And when you spend $100 or more, you receive a second grab bag is what it says. So with that being said, they have some awesome new things on their site. Uh, I am doing this a little ahead of time, so it's possible some of those items are there. I don't know how they're working that, but um, this will be on mydiamondpress.com. Okay, not HSN. I know a lot of people equate Diamond Press with HSN for a good reason, but this is on mydiamondpress.com. Um, I have uh, a few different things. So again, you know, they might have some of these things on there right now. You want to wait for the 22nd to pick them up is, you know, uh, up to you, but I'm sure that's what you want to do. So you can get that 50% off. So today what I'm going to do is focus on some washi. They're bringing some new washies, tons of new, like dozens of embossing folders, uh, some kits and things. So I have those to show you too, but today I'm going to focus on the washi and then every day I'll just, um, give you a little more information and release a little more, um, maybe review tutorials for you guys. Okay. So this is going to be kind of a quick one as far as the different washies, cause there is a lot of washi, you guys. So, oh, you know what? Sorry, I'm gonna put some of these in color families because they have like color coordination here going. So what I'm gonna do is separate these out okay, guys, and I'll be right joking back. When I said it's a lot of washi. So <laughs> let's start over here, I think. And then I'll be able to tell you. So this is the bright scalloped. And look at those colors. So pretty, and as you can see, they are scalloped. I had personally never seen washi like this. So really cool. Um, so that's the, Past, and this one's Pastel Rainbow. I'm going to try to give you the names. Of course, you're probably just seeing by the images once you get there. But uh, So Bright Scalloped Pastel Rainbow. So pretty. And then we'll go into some of these that are more like primary colors. Um, this is Red Basics. So pretty with all the different um, styles that are in here with the red tones. And this is Blue Basics. So similar, very similar, but in blues. Um, we have this one here. This is Pastel Rainbow Basics. Again, very similar pat patterns. Similar patterns, but a little more pastel in different colors. Oh, you know what? I should have gone with this one. Green Basics was the next one. So red, blue, and green Basics. And then we have uh, Bright Basics. Again, very similar um, styles, but the different colors in there. Uh, pastel Rainbow Fashion. And look at this one with the little rainbows and all these other fun. Oh, love the little clouds. It says Rainbow BU. Beautiful. Um, this one is called Wood Grain Colors. Oh, I was wondering what, yeah, it's wood grain with the little dashes. I had seen it, but I didn't really look close enough to it. So there's the different wood grains in the rainbow colors. And this one's um, All Occasions. Beautiful with the thank you and beautiful and then different widths. This is much, much wider than like these little guys and those guys. Love that. Uh, this one is Birthday Kid. 
again with some foiling and different sizing hey birthday super cute it's kind of cute thing to put like on an envelope too oh you know what? i might have oh this is ikat i-k-a-t so it has like the ikat patterns lovely uh how <laughs> cute this one's called food so a little sushi Ooh, i make sushi right now quite often when it's hot because it's easy to do. put it in the rice cooker and then go from there and everything's nice and cold Look at that. Oh my gosh. The little hamburger and fries. What is this? Little cotton candies. Oh my gosh. The little trucks. The food trucks. That is adorable. This one's called coffee. And you know I love me a card that has a coffee pun. Good things like that. Look at the little macaron. The little <laughs> drink. I would say a latte. Uh, hello gorgeous. Little donuts. Some sparkly stuff. Some foil. Super cute. Oh <laughs> look at the little coffee pot that is adorable um birds and butterflies this is very just i want to say regal it reminds me of cloisonne a little bit of asian spider so like just with the gold i don't know something is just super gorgeous and i mean look at that oh my gosh what does it say what if you fly what if you fly what if i fall oh my darling oh what if you fly that is awesome i love that what does this one say with brave wings, she flies. Oh, this is beautiful. Again, that was birds and butterflies. This one's called floral. And again, it has your sentiments, some words in there. I, I love this one, just the little ferns. Super cute. Again, different widths and sizing and foiling. Uh, this one's called blue nautical. Just gorgeous. I mean, look at look at this. The corals and it has like little gold in there. The ocean is my home. Oh, I love it. Every day is a sailing day. New hunting company. Beautiful. This is called Animal Print, which is just fun and playful. And, I mean, you can just pop that on anything. Look at that. <laughs> you know what? I was thinking about what I'm going to use today. We'll see. Maybe that might be it. Um, birthday Chic. Or Birthday Chick. I would say Chic. C-H-I-C. With the little banners. The foiling. Pop Fizz, very fancy on this one. Oh, this is another wood grain. This one's really cool, neutral wood grain. And how many cards can you just, I mean, we can use this on any, everything. Um, I always love popping a little something like this, more nature inspired on things. Oh, so pretty. And then this one is called Metallic Gold and it is gold gold. A lot of foiling in this set. Again, large and small, different designs there. So pretty. So thank you so much, Dying Press, for saying these. I am going to bring out some other supplies and we'll have a little washi fun. Okay, just to start, um, I'm going to do something where we're going to just lay out washi and then we're going to cut this up and play with the pattern a little bit. So I'm going to open this guy up and I probably should have done that already. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And um, I'm going to use the animal print pattern because I think it's going to be really fun with this design. And I'm just going to go straight up and down. If you want to do diagonals or however you want to do that, that's great too. So I do have the animal print here. And let's see, which ones am I going to use? So this one, oh, yeah, there it is. I was going to say it looks a little bit shiny. It's because of the tape that's on there. Hmm. I'm going to go with these. And I'm just going to start in the middle. So this piece of paper is four and a quarter by five and a half, but I'm going to trim it down. I gave myself some extra just for it to kind of, um, so when I trim it down, it'll just look nice and clean on the edges. So if I am looking at this, let's say that's the center. This part doesn't really matter. We're just laying down washi. So. What I'm going to do is move this over just a little bit, just so that I can have, use my grid to help me line that up. Bottom to top, this to this. And that will kind of help me when I put down the other ones. So I'm just going to go to either side. Oh, it feels so nice. And I'm just putting it right next to the other one. I am tearing it. You want to keep it on the roll, but for me it feels easier. I can get my fingers down lower, real close. Do it this way. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to take a moment to. 
add all this in. And I think I'm going to repeat the pattern. So it's just going to be zebra, giraffe, cheetah. <laughs> I always want to say leopard, but leopards are black, right? Isn't that the whole thing? Maybe not. And then I'll do again zebra, whatever finishes it off. And then um, from here, I would do the cheetah print, this print, and then zebra again, right? Because that's basically what the pattern is. And I'll be right back. Okay. So these are about, I want to say, half an inch, five eighths of an inch wide. So it pretty much took up this whole thing. Like I said, I made it bigger because I'm going to trim it down and then go from there. So I am good with this. So pretty. Um, and then we're just going to trim this down. Whatever cutter you like to use. Um, I'm going to do this one backwards just so I can see where, I, where I'm cutting. And then the other one won't be so... I'm just going to take a little bit off of this. Okay? And a little bit off the other side. And then I'll trim from there. And I'm doing just a very little bit. <laughs> You can just cut that with scissors too. Okay, so as far as the width, I want it to end up being four inches wide. So I'm gonna take a little bit off of this edge and a little bit off of this edge. So we have four inches. And then we need it to be five and a quarter. At least that's what I wanna do. So and as far as that, it's not the biggest deal. I'm just gonna, oh, we're almost there already from what I cut off earlier. So five and a quarter. Oh yeah. Okay, now on this part, I'm just gonna eyeball this. If you want to do some math or you know do some, take your ruler and just do that, you can definitely do that. I'm going to hold it here at an angle and it's hard to see. I'm gonna set up so that this thing cuts it from this corner right down to this corner, okay? So it's gonna be easier for me to see. It might not be so easy for you guys to see, but I'm just angling it. And again, I'm just eyeballing it. You do want it to be pretty well correct because <laughs> When you go to piece this back, you want the angles to match up. So I did that, and then you're like, okay, what are we going to do here? Because this could be anywhere, right? I can go from this corner here, and I'm going to hold it together and just go in the other direction. Now you don't, again, if you want to take and on the back of it, do a, use your ruler, then please do. But I'm just going to hold it and eyeball it. I'm at the very corner. I'm make sure that's pretty perfect and <laughs> give it a nice quick chop. All right, let me grab a card base and I'll be right back. So our pieces here, I'm gonna put them to the side for now. I do have a black card base, this is A2 size, so it's eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. And I do have this Harvest Gold color that is awesome that I'm gonna use here. Again, if you wanna cut away the, the middle portion, go ahead. But um, this is cut at five and just a little bit bigger than five and three eighths because I kinda wanted to max out the card. Um, by four and an eighth. Again, it's just a little bigger than that because I was trying to get it really so you can see more of the edge, you know. And then with this part, hopefully that stays down. Um, this is where we can kind of play with it. So I did the, my stripes straight up and down. If you want to do them angled and then cut it up and then switch them out, it's going to look awesome too. Um, so for me, since the pattern was repetitive, you can also use all different colors, right? Use everything that was in here and not repeat any of them. So it's still a little bit repetitive as far as the zebra and stuff. So again, it was pretty much like this. So if we stick those pieces down, it's all the same. But if we just switch them around, the positioning of the cheetah and the giraffe print are going to be different. And I'm going to stick it together like this. You can switch it so that these stay the same. And you can switch these guys around. It looks a little bit different. I mean, however you would like to do it, it's just play with it. Whatever you think looks best when you're done, I would go with that. I think it looked better the other way, so I'm going to go with the other way. Even though all you have to do is just switch around these pieces. Okay, and then I'm just going to glue them completely down. Really fun. Again, it's just a different way of doing it and it looks kind of messes with your eyes a little bit, right? <laughs> so I'm going to glue these down and I'll be right back. I'm just gluing this last piece in. What I did was, um, I guess if 
maybe I should have recorded that part, but <laughs> I just put glue on this one, stuck it down, and then, you know, made sure it had a nice kind of edge to it. And then I brought this one in and made sure the points are exactly the same. And I kind of held it down. And then I brought this guy in and nestled him in there, just making sure everything was pretty much touching the right way. And that's it. And then I brought this last guy in. And I'm still holding because I use that metallic paper, so it makes it kind of slippery. But look at that. And then you can just pop on a sentiment or however you want to do that. Um, I think it's really fun. All right, guys, let me uh, try out one other thing. Okay, guys, for this next one, it's going to be really quick and easy. Just the typical thing that you would, might want to do with washi tape. So I just have the um, I think this is Bright's Basic set. And there's lots of pretty colors on here. I think I'm going to use the pink, the purple. Let's do the blue, the yellow. I'm gonna stay with those colors. And then from this other set that I have, I'm not saying these are available on my dime press, it's just something I grabbed out of my stash, which was the um, tag set here. I grabbed the happy birthday to you tag and then the little um, daisy. And I'm just gonna put some washi down and then put these little guys on top. Oh, you know what? I am also gonna put some twine on that one. So let me bring that out. So with this one, I'm just gonna have fun with it. So, um, Another cute thing you can do, now that I think about it, is the um, kind of like a basket weave look. And you honestly don't even have to actually weave it. If you're going to put something over that area, you can just put some going this way, some going this way, and people will think it's woven underneath, you know? But what I like to do is give it a tear. So I'm going to tear this side too, just so that it's a rough end. You don't want that one side to be straight. And that's because I'm using it torn. If you want to not do that, then uh, definitely... I want to see how big I want to make it. This is here. It's a little bit too long. Just a little bit too wide. I think I'm going to start here with it. And if I pop that on there, yeah. Different colors. And so I'm just going to playfully kind of just add strips. They're about almost four inches, I guess. Again, tear this side too. If you like it better to look like um, like the end of a tag, you can always dovetail it. I don't know if I'm going to keep it all straight or if just kind of play with it a little bit. Let's be more over this way. So again, just tearing pieces. I'm probably going to tear this right here just to make it easier. There. And then tear. I'm just going to kind of fill the front up here with washi that's just torn. So it's kind of straight up and down, but I'm kind of zigzagging it here and there. Uh, what do you have? Blue. So I'll continue doing this, kind of filling up the front of the card, and I'll be right back. I think I'm good right there. Just a little something. I kind of left it doing its own thing on the edges. We're going to put this on here, just cut a little length of washi. And I'm going to pop this on here. I'm going to cut this a little bit. Pop that on there, and then I'm going to tuck this little guy behind here. Really sweet, bright, adorable card. Made super quick with all those sweet tags that we have there. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? I don't think I ever noticed that the back of these are a solid color. Oh my gosh, you could totally stamp on these. I'm so sorry, I didn't notice that in the review, the initial review from months ago. So you can stamp on that, and then you have that also. So I'm going to pop this little guy right here, and then this little lady we're going to glue down. And that's that. I actually cut some other things to go with the first card I showed you, but yeah, for sure, the 22nd, midnight going to the 22nd, and I know a lot of you guys will be there at midnight, and that would be the best selection, of course, of items. Look at this little sweetie. So thank you so much, Diane Press, for sending these items for review. I'll continue using the washi here and there in different videos. Um, I cut from a different set that I've had. Um, I think this is called Large Sentiment. Um, I cut some of that same gold, and then in black, I'm just going to glue those together as a drop shadow. And then I cut out some little um, leaves from the Tropical set I've had here for a minute. I call it Let's Flamingo, but I think they call it Tropical something or other on HSN there. And I'll just layer up these little leaves and maybe tuck them in there. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them or not, but a couple of sweet 
cool cards made super quick. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next one. Again, keep an eye out for more uh, reviews and more, you know, sneak peeks of the items that will be there uh, on mydiamondpress.com. And don't forget to use Teal 50 on June 22nd, okay, for 50% off, uh, $50 or more cart. All right, guys, bye now.